really oh that's a great shot it's a really easy bend this front bend if you're on the fairway left arm and the shaft sort of hanging down together work as a unit rock it back and rock it through and then she pops nicely done and thomas 142 to go from the left hand side of this fourth fairway Maybe a bit of education here <laughs> Ken's been working on his antlers again. <laughs> There's a lovely bit of wedge work. The right to left are here for Justin Thomas. He needs to start it outside the right edge unless he hits it very firm. Good thing he didn't start it much outside the right edge. He tried to wiggle back out the other way. Or any firmer. It was missing, wasn't it? Not a long clock from here, just a nine iron or something down the hill. Eight to there. A little bit. Well, it's the right one. Another two beauties so far into the par three. Good one there for Justin Thomas. Well hold. Thomas just a wedge shot here. His third shot after splashing out of the right fairway bunker. Oh, spin. Yeah, it tends to spin a little bit more when... Oh! Just turned on. I was just about to say boom. It was more of a wriggle. 45 feet. Nothing difficult to cope with on this putt. Simple pace. Slightly uphill. Good greens now. But he had to sit down for a while at lunch. Perfect taste right into the heart of the cup. 129 for Thomas. Not the greatest lie. Not a flyer, but sort of awkward. Oh, didn't matter to him. Good breaks. He's got a super round going. That was certainly a quality second. I didn't fancy that lie too much, but... That was lovely. So was that straight in birdie for Thomas, his fifth of the day. There's a little bit of left to right on it. The wind's going to help speed it along as well, so very, very difficult to knock this one past. It's easy to get it 15 feet short, but it's very difficult to get it closer than that. They really hit it hard. Ooh, your beauty. Go on. Yeah, pretty darn good. Saturday and Sunday at the Aberdeen Standard Investments Scottish Open. Yeah. Well done, Justin. <laughs> it was a good up and down for Stone. It was a great up and down for Thomas. This is straightforward gradually uphill and that's a beautiful strike just beautiful and it's great to watch i mean that is world class plus simple little chip and he made it look simple 200 yards for justin thomas no wind right now we're behind trees very little up above them anyway lovely backstop to this pin pins right at the back big slope oh that's a beauty from thomas I'd take a punt and say this is inside left. Certainly not much there. Spot on Mark, beautifully hold once again. Flush in the center of the cup, perfect pace. And mm, eight birdies today. To get to 12 under. Go, 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 go. Right in the middle, just short. That's a great day for Justin Thomas. Eight birdies. And he looks as if he's enjoyed it today, Sam. He's been playing the game with a smile on his face. I think he's enjoying the challenge. And why wouldn't you? 64 for 11 under. He's only three off the lead. Um, I enjoyed the score, I would say. Um, it was nice to... It was very weird teeing off 
and I think I was probably in 45th or 50th place. I mean, at four under par um, after one round, that's it's kind of crazy. But um, you know, I knew I needed to kind of keep the hammer down and make a lot of birdies, and I was able to hit some good shots and make some key putts to kind of keep some momentum going or gain some um, kind of going throughout the day. And do you feel like you're learning the course as you go since you were new to coming here between yesterday and today? What did you notice? Maybe a little bit. I think this isn't like your typical links golf, traditional links where um, there's a lot of kind of nicks and crannies to it where you kind of have to use different slopes. I mean, you still do have to, but it's a very modern style links to where, especially with the conditions we've had and very little wind to no wind um, and, and being softer, it's kind of, it's more, I guess you could say American style. Um, obviously you can still run, run it and the ball's going uh, quite a bit farther, but uh I don't know, it's not quite as linksy or doesn't require sometimes the, the course advantage or whatever home course advantage. Well, you're at a really nice position now. It looks like you could be three shots off the lead going into the weekend. How does that feel? It feels good. I feel, you know, I've played well the last couple of days. I've, I've made some putts, which is something I've been working hard to, to get back to doing. I feel comfortable um, over a lot really a lot of my game right now so I just need to keep uh, continuing to do that not only for the rest of the week but uh, the rest of the season. If you want to watch another European Tour video click here if you want to subscribe click here.